Six days of hell. That's how Antonella Barassa describes her journey home. She touched down at Pearson Airport last night with no help from the Canadian government and tells me after everything she just went through, life will never be the same. After nearly a week in a war zone, three flights and 30 hours of travel, Antonella is back in the GTA safe with family. But what she experienced on the ground in Tel Aviv still haunts her. Car doors scare me. Um, just any, any noise scares me. It's terrifying. It was Antonella's third time in six months visiting friends in Israel when Hamas carried out those barbaric attacks on civilians. She spent the next five days in and out of stairwells and bomb shelters, fearing for her life. When the, sir the sirens stop, the silence starts, and you just wait, and you wait for the booms and then you hear it and then you hear more and there was one where you could you could hear concrete shattering on day one antonella contacted the embassy which was closed for thanksgiving and then registered with the canadian government for emergency updates while back home friends and family were working around the clock to get her out of the country the updates that they were given were we have no updates I was waiting on the government and like four or five days later and not one email, I said, I have to do this for myself. Her first attempt at getting to the airport was delayed by sirens that sent her back into the bunker. She later found out an iron dome had intercepted a rocket targeting the airport. The next day she tried again, telling me that cab ride was horrifying. I was told if the sirens go off, you need to get out of the car basically lie down and cover your head. When she finally arrived, it was chaos with crowds of people scared, exhausted and also desperate for a way out. In the end, Antonella and her family spent more than $10,000 booking flights that she either missed or got canceled. I always used to be so proud to hold a Canadian passport because I knew if anything were to ever happen to me that the Canadian government would be there for me. And it's always been said, like, Canada has your back. Always know where the embassy is everywhere you go. For what? For what? Because they won't. They won't help. They didn't. Now, some of Antonella's friends back in Israel are part of the reserve and are now on the front lines of this war. She tells me while she is happy to be home, her heart is heavy and she almost feels guilty for leaving them behind. Shauna Hunt, City News.